How you going? Lincoln here from Landfish TV. Today, down in beautiful Docklands. Haven't been down here for a little while, but I thought I'd come down, have a flick, show you a couple of hints and tips down here, and hopefully catch a fish. Using the one to three kilo katana, got the Naski on there, six pound braid. Now I'm not too sure whether I have six or 10 pound leader, it might be 10 I think, but I've got a little jiggle fish and two inch grub on there in pearl. Little jig head, can't remember what size, sorry guys, but gonna use this one, flick it around, do some vert vertical jigging, go between all the structure and hopefully pick something up. It's a beautiful Melbourne day. It does look nice and warm, but it's not. So we'll head out there, see if we can catch a fish. So it's gonna start off fishing between these pylons, doing little casts out, letting it sink down. And keep, as it's sinking down, I'm keeping my hand here right next to the bale. So if I see that line twitch or pull off, I quickly flip that and strike. Because if you just let it all out like that, you're gonna have a lot of slack in your line and you're not gonna be able to strike properly and you possibly will lose the fish or not even hook the fish. So it's always a good idea to keep as much tension as you can on there and slowly let it out while you're doing it and have that hand on the bale so you can quickly flip it over. Spent 15 hours trying to find my next Dewey so far. Nice. Went to bed at seven o'clock this morning. <laughs> I want to get another one. I'm bloody hooked on it now. I want to get a bigger one. I went on the wrong tide last night. Oh my God. But um, I couldn't sleep because I wanted to try and fish for one. So <laughs> went out there anyway. I think tonight I'll match it up with the tide properly. It wasn't raining last night either, and the water was murkier than this. But you see how cool it looked on the drone? How nice that water was and everything? Another retriever I like to do down here to work the structure is casting along the little jetties and moorings like this, letting it sink down for a couple of seconds, maybe up to 10. So it's just sinking down into that strike zone. Give it a couple of wiggles and do the same thing. Just so you're sticking around the edge where you tend to see a lot of brim hanging around down here. So giving it those jiggles, letting it sink down a little bit again. Getting as close as you can to the actual mooring or the jetty. My rod's not really long enough to be able to get out to this one. But it's another little handy retrieve that you can do down here. That if the fish are there and hungry, it'll generally pick them up. So another type of retrieve I like to use down here or in jetty areas where there's a lot of pylons that are going down, is you actually let it sink all the way down to the bottom next to the pylon. Then once you've hit the bottom, you're just raising your rod with a couple of little twitches like that. Following it back down with the rod. Repeating exactly the same thing again. Following it down. Then on the third one, you're bringing it up like that. And as you're coming down, wind in. And then all you're doing is you're repeating that process again of two times coming up with a little jiggle following it back down and not winding and then on the third you do the jiggles up and then you're winding down so if you continue that all the way up you're going to work the whole water column next to that pylon and generally that'll help you pick up the fish that are feeding on the pylons i like to use that around high tide because that's normally when fish feed on the stuff that you can probably see down there the mollusks and the weed and all that sort of stuff they feed in amongst that so if you're working up and down the pylons on a nice high tide, which it isn't now, but if you do it on a high tide, generally you'll be able to find out where the fish are feeding in the water column, and then use that technique to catch more. So it's still about covering the most distance you can. So working every bit of structure and every bit of the water column to find where the fish are. Because there's a lot of structure going down here, like the pylons and chains that come across, you can cast along them 
and you let it sink to the bottom and then you just work it back. Sometimes you can do big lifts so it's working maybe a metre, a metre and a half of water column and fluttering back down or you can just bump it along the bottom like little bumps along the bottom or wiggles let it sink back down again and do little ones like that. The other method that you can do while you're doing these long cross ones is you can cast out and just count 10 seconds slow roll it back another cast count 20 seconds slow roll it back and what you're going to do is you're going to work that whole water column again and you're going to cover a lot of area because you're actually casting along the side of things now these are the risky times dropping down between a boat and a pier or a jetty but sometimes that's where the fish are hiding I will be pretty screwed if something decent grabs it even a decent brim so it'll just cut me off on either side <laughs> you just lost you out you're gonna get it <laughs> fishing for hats You gonna put that on the brag mat? <laughs> Got one. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is just clear enough for the brim to be able to see it, but murky enough for them not to be like crazy finicky, I reckon. Yep, got one. <laughs> Just got a little snook. Oh, that's bizarre. So here we are outside Marvel Stadium. And we're catching fish. How cool is that? Now I actually haven't got a net. And I'm pretty sure I've got six pound uh, line on. So I might walk over there. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Nice fish down here in Docklands. It's a snook. I often call them pike, but pretty sure they're snook. <laughs> they are stinky, they are slimy, but they're also a great little sports fish around here. So there you have it. Nice, shiny little fish down here in Docklands, Melbourne, Victoria. Got him on the little two inch jiggle fishing grub in Pearl and a little jig head there. Can't quite remember the size. But we're gonna put this fella back in. And let him live another day. See you later, bud. So it's just that little one there. <laughs> Took a liking to it. So the ideal time, I think, to fish down here would probably be high tide. Right now it's low tide. And when the water's a bit clearer than this, because today the water's murky, but still manage that one fish. So I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, hope you got a couple of tips out of that. Did do a fair bit of fishing along here. It had, didn't, it didn't really have any action at all apart from that one snook, pike, whatever you want to call it. I always call it pike. But check out my new toy. <laughs> so I've got it all the way out there, right? And it's got this return to home button. See if it works. So I pressed it. Oh, there we go, you have to hold it down. Oh, there you go, not doing a thing. It's coming on back. And you can lock the propellers before you pick it up so it doesn't go off on you. Because now if I do that, nothing happens. Got a little button there. And at the back here, that's where it's got a little hook. 
Yep. So you've got a button that opens that. So that closes and clips in there. Then you go out to 800 meters. Not that you'd have that much yeah. line on most rods, but then you click a little button on here or on your phone and it releases that and it drops down. Cool. This thing's bloody awesome. How fast will it go? Uh, four meters a second, they reckon. Oh, four, four meters a second. But yeah, I want to go around at night time under the jetties because it's got a light on it. So you'd be able to see under there. <laughs> it's got um, a self-riding function. Nice. I think it's meant to do it automatically. I don't know whether I just did that or not. That's a fish attractor, they reckon. Because you can actually, with our laws you can't, but you can actually fish with this trolley lure behind it. So I think what I'll have to do is get just like a real light rod with two pound line on it and just attach it to the drone and just have it there with someone holding it and I'll just fish with that. No way. I'd love to see that. Go behind the breakers and get all the bloody salmon.